Hey, look, it's our writer-musician. Where have you been the last several hours, Hank? You may refer to me by my adventure form, username while we're at work. Thank you, Mothra. Uh, fine. Lazarus. Where have you been? I don't know. When I get into my creative trances, I can't be held accountable for my corporeal whereabouts. Ah. Uh... When you assumed the mantle of co-team leader on Project Double Z, you also assumed a high degree of responsibility within Blue Globe Inc. How is our artist art, I mean, cuddles, supposed to design backgrounds without artistic direction? Blue is pretty. Duh, we're all co-team leaders. That's the genius of our corporate model. Let each member of the company exploit himself to the fullest. Well, most of us anyway. Never mind about the corporate hierarchy for now. Gentlemen, we have a problem of epic proportions on our hands. The adventure game genre has suddenly become vanishingly unpopular again? Perish the thought. No. The problem is that production on our demo is proceeding more slowly than a full throttle sequel. At this rate, I calculate we'll run out of money before we can initiate our Kickstarter campaign. We'll be ruined. Calculate? You couldn't calculate a sum less than 10 by finger counting. How much money do we have left? None. That made the calculations easy. We have to get this demo out the door to get the Kickstarter campaign raking in the cash. We have to work faster. That's problematic, especially since the coffee ran out. Need coffee. Fine, I'll scrounge up the coffee. You guys just keep working on the demo. Scrounge, eh? Just make sure you come back with something actually resembling coffee. We're not interested in a pile of unusable inventory items like last time. Hey, I bet these chopsticks will come in handy. Hey, those chopsticks might yet prove useful. Just get the coffee. Right. It's a statuette of indie rock sensation Chimp Spanner. His ambient progressive metal project is an inspiration to us all. This Chimp Spanner statuette is sure to be useful. A monkey wench has a myriad of possible uses. Hmm, not much left in here. Hmm, kitty cola. My social conscience says no, but my throat says yes. Blast! The last can of Kitty Cola is stuck in a sticky cola spill from a previously neighboring can. Now it's set like concrete. I need like a jackhammer to get it out. No way, man. Those onion rings have rotted there since I left that freaky cult. What is thy bidding, my master? You will bring unto me all of the onion rings in the entire world. But, my lord, is that legal? I will make it legal! I can't wait to see all our work assembled. Now I know how Dr. Frankenstein felt just before he pulled the switch. At last our creation will live. All of our patience and hard work is finally going to be rewarded. There, it is done. Compile. 
compile. Hands up, Kentucky Scott. Don't make me discharge this pistol at you. Don't you discharge anything at me. Oh, Candy, I think he's serious. Don't worry, Whiny. I've dealt with this kind of villain before. You gotta tease him along a little bit. What if he starts shooting? He's only got one shot, and he's not gonna waste it on you, sweetheart. Enough of this gay banter. Now is the time for Dr. Scott to show his mastery of mine ruins. I thought you said you were a lip doctor. No, I said I was an apocalyptologist. Yeah, lipologist. Apocalyptologist. I studied ruined civilizations in order to learn the lessons of their downfall. In order to prevent our own civilization from being destroyed in the same manner. A frivolous endeavor, Dr. Scott. Soon the ancient regime will be revived and we shall run your productive culture into the ground. All we need is the secret mind control transpell of the ancient Maya. The ancient regime is a gang of foppish thugs. I'll never help you. You already have. By uncovering the location of the secret temple of Teotihuazilopochtli? You mean Teotihuazilopochtli? Silence. You have uncovered the temple entrance, Dr. Scott. Now all I need is for you to unlock the gate. But the hieroglyphs clearly warn. Now, Dr. Scott, my effeminate wrist cannot hold this weighty pistol aloft all day. I lose patience. Fine. All we need to do is simultaneously squeeze the levers and the holes on each side of the entrance. I can squeeze one, but for the other I'll need a little help. Nice try, Dr. Scott. We aristocrats never do any manual labor, no matter how minor. The girl will help you. What do you say, Winnie? Ew, no way I'm sticking my hand in there! Ew, ew, ew. Do as I say, churlish peasant girl, or I will shoot you! I'd rather die! But, but... Very well. It seems you're on your own, Dr. Scott. Great, just give me a second to figure something out. <laughs> 